second start in the series for 2018 is Jakim Rechko. So here's a highlight video, highlight reel, sorry, of him um, winning five straight stages in the Tour of Hainan. So I'll just talk you through what he's done in the last couple of seasons and why I think he's going to do well next year. So if we go on to like what he's won, he's won 15 stages of the Tour of Taihu Lake. He's won six stages of the Tour of Hainan, three stages of the Tour of Langkawi, two stages, three stages of the Tour of King Jai Lake, two stages of the Tour of Turkey. So basically he hasn't won in Europe. Uh, that's the main problem with him, I'd say. He's not very consistent in Europe. He seems to win a lot in Asia, but he doesn't seem to win a lot in Europe, which is the problem because most of the big races are in Europe. And I feel like this is, a, this is where he needs to improve. I, I think he can because he's shown that he has a very good lead-up train in the Tour of Hainan. His lead-up man is really, really strong. Uh, probably, he definitely was the strongest lead-up rider there. I think that will definitely help him. He, also, I'm not sure Pippa Bozato is in this race, but if he is, that he's a big rider who can do big pulls from about three kilometers down to like one and a half kilometers. He's a real strong rider, people. So that's super useful for... Uh, Jakim Rechko. Another thing that's happened this season is he's changed his sprint quite dramatically. He used to have more of a traditional upright sprint, but he's now changed to a super aero modern sprint, similar to Caleb Ewan. Some say it's even more aero than Caleb Ewan, but it, it's pretty dangerous, but it gets results. His lead out uh, rider like here is just incredibly strong. He just is absolutely dominating on the front. Uh, Jakim Rechko, I think, is third wheel. Like, Bardiani are the other team who tried to do a lead-up, but they're just absolutely failing. It's just, it just doesn't work compared to as nearly as well as the uh, Willia Selyat Alia. Uh, the other races I think that Rechko could do well in is the Spring Classics and maybe uh, Milan San Marino because he's quite a light rider for a sprint. He's only about 68 kilos, so that's pretty light for, for a, like, a pure sprinter. Um... He's sort of that similar weight to like Quick Koski or someone like that, and he's really a pure sprinter. So I feel he could definitely do well um, in the Spring Classics if he just generally gains a bit more fitness um, and a bit more endurance. Then he could, if he could start going with moves, because like I wouldn't be surprised if he could go with um, some of the moves at the top of the Chipras or Poggio, uh, and then maybe he could, you know, he'd definitely have the speed to out sprint them. On this particular clip, like he's so well hidden, he's like on the left hand side, and like. You think Bardiani have it in the bag, and then you'll just see out of nowhere, he just comes and just absolutely dominates. Like how fast he, he accelerates. Like when he when he, he puts about two or three two or three pedal strokes down, and he just creates a big gap, and no one can get past him because the thing is, there's no drop. That's what Cavendish was saying earlier um, in the year when Caleb Ewan beat him. He was just saying like I was on his wheel, but I just got no drop compared to usual. So. Like, you have to really change your timings. Um, you'll soon be able to see, there he is in the yellow jersey, and he comes part. He comes out, out the wind and just absolutely dominates everyone. Like, look, no one's even close. He's on the other side of the road. His head's sort of trying to lick the, he's trying to lick the wheel or something. It's absolutely crazy. I don't know. I don't know how he, like, learned to do it. Because I'd be absolutely terrified doing that, like, in training, let alone in a race. Like, you, I don't think you could see, probably. He's just, like, got his head down. Just, uh, it's absolutely nuts. But that's the thing is like his power might be a little less, but his speed has gone up so much. But he's actually just he's actually an incredible rider. Um, like to do that and just like not be scared is is quite mental. But again, like he's he's got a solid lead out here. Body on, you don't know what's going on. You got like ISO Sports Swiss Wellness on the front with three riders. But look, here is comes his lead out man. Just literally gasses absolutely everyone on the front. Look, it's like them versus Delco, and the Delco bloke, the lead-out man, just has absolutely no chance. He just swings his helmet. It's like, come on, mate, I can't do it anymore. And the sprint has to try and, like, you waste some energy trying to get on the wheel. Look, he's still going. <laughs> it's just incredible. Like, he's, like, he's, the, the power he has is just amazing. And this will help Moretchko so much, because if he can do this in a, pro, in a, like, a real race, or not a real race, sorry, but in a big race, um, and has a really strong lead out, then he has a really high chance of, um, of winning. Also, the other thing is, because he's on a pro Conti team, like, in a, in the Grand Tours, for instance, or in a bigger race, they're not really expected to do much of a chase, um, because obviously they don't really have a favour or anything, so that's quite useful for Marachko, because he doesn't, well, and his team, because he doesn't have to waste a lot of energy. But here again, like, Delco has so many blokes on the front, Moretchko only has, I think, two people with him, maybe only one, and he'll still, the, the lead out, he, he is either sorted it out or his team have sorted it out, but together, like, 
it's very, very good, and I think that will help him. He's also shown in the previous clip that he can do a bit of freestyling, which is always useful, because often, like, the riders who can lead out well at this sort of level, at World Tour level, they just can't. So for next season, I think, if you can pick up maybe one or two World Tour wins, some bigger, some wins in, like, stage races, like the Tour of Dunkirk, oh, sorry, the Four Days of Dunkirk, and, uh, like, similar races in France, maybe, like, one-day races like Paris Camembert or somewhere like that, I think that would be a solid, solid ride for him, and maybe if he, maybe he'll s snatch a World Tour contract potentially. I think like someone with a bit of an Italian flavour, potentially like UAE, Emirates, um, they could sign him up. I guess it just, it just depends if he gets the results he's needed, because there are quite a lot of similar riders to him, who are sort of light but sprinter, t sprinters types like Diego Ulissi, Ben Swift, like people like them. And the thing is, in order to in order to get a world tour contract, you have to sh actually have to show you can win races, and I'm that's the only thing I'm worried about. I feel he just needs to figure out what his strength is. If he wants to gain a bit more muscle, maybe and become a real pure sprinter, or if he wants to stay as he is and just like sort of be a pure sprinter in some ways, but also make sure that um, he's light enough to be able to go with some of the attacks, maybe in some spring classics or whatever. Um, so here we go, last stage uh, that he won, well, not, oh yeah, the last stage he won, fifth stage in a row, it was quite, quite amazing. Again, Delco on the front, he's sat in behind his lead-out man, and you only, uh, there's only going to be one answer, the Delco bloke's going to get a bit tired, lead-out man steps out, absolutely dominates him, goes flying past, I'm not sure what Delco were doing, they just didn't seem to get their lead-out right all, all tour, to be honest, like, they were just struggling, they always went too early, um, but yeah. Yak and Marechko, here he goes, and look at, like, no one comes close, like, he puts so much, le so much distance between him and his, uh, him and the other riders so quickly, it's just incredible, really. And there he is, fifth stage row in, in a row, so, thanks for watching, watch out for Yak and Marechko next season, hopefully he can pick up some wins, and see you in the next video. Bye!